The kids are doing a great job of helping us keep the floor dirty and it's time we get some help to keep the floor clean. Today we're gonna to talk about the Narwhal Frio. A huge thank you to Narwhal in sponsoring today's video. Now this is really cool, there's a base station that can automatically refill the water, empty the dirty water, and keep the mop pads clean. So let's go ahead and get this set up, use the app, get it connected, and I'll show you how it works. There will be an app that you can download on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. So here you have Frio mode, separated dry and wet cleaning, contamination detection, carpet cleaning, scheduled cleaning, customized cleaning sequence, and attachable and washable cleaning tray, which would be very helpful. So up here on the top, the Narwhal has this LiDAR sensor, so it's going to automatically detect if it's going to run into something, and then it can also map the room out so it knows exactly where the floor is and the carpet is or rugs or whatever, so that's really cool. So here we have the vacuum tray. There is a filter inside that you can replace once it gets too dirty. And then you will just press right here to open the tray to get all of the dirt out. Now let's put on the brushes on the bottom. They are color coded, which is nice. And here we have the two cleaning pads. So those just Velcro on. You can take them off and give them a more thorough clean or replace them. Now let's check out the base station. So here there is a touch screen on the top here. So you'll be able to interact and use the device through there. And here are the water tanks. We have one for dirty water and one for clean water. Now we're going to find an easy access location for the base station and plug it in. Now we need to add the floor cleaner. So we just move the clean water bin and then remove the cap and it places down like this. So this is going to be easy to replace whenever it is empty. Now let's go ahead and place the Narwhal Frio into the base station. And here it's giving us the option to set up on the little touch screen here on the outside. So we're gonna choose English. And now we're going to scan to activate the code. And I've previously downloaded the Narwhal app, so it, take, it took me right there. Next we're going to add a device. Here it found the Narwhal Frio. Network connected successfully. Oh, cool. So there's a speaker underneath the top part here. And here we have our little narwhal, which is pretty cute. But now we can enter the device home page. And so here we can swipe left or right to go to different modes. And then we can slide down to go to the settings. I really like this display and those are some really pretty animations here. So if we find a mode we want, we can then tap on the mode. And then here it says we can leave the base or we can just begin Great, now let's go ahead and go back to the app and map out our floor. Tap the start button to begin the first round of cleaning. A sheet for initial cleaning. Please clear any debris on the floor and open the doors to rooms that require cleaning. It's automatically going around different obstacles that I have in the home. There it's going around chairs. And here it is creating a map on the app so you can see where it is going. And it's using that LiDAR to create that map pretty great so let's let it keep going and find out what this room looks like now while that is mapping out the area I'm gonna go ahead open this up and fill the clean water bucket So there, it took about 20 minutes to finish the initial mapping. There I have 970 square feet here. There is my area, which is pretty accurate. It then automatically docked at the base station. So then you can hear it back there, getting ready to mop. And before it heads out to mop, it does wash the mop pads, get them all wet, and then it goes on its way. Now at any time, you can push the pause on the app or go and touch the button on the robot to stop it from doing its mopping. Let's watch it work. And here you can see on the map in purple where it has done the mopping. So that's kind of nice to keep track of where it is. 
Now because it has the map, it can automatically stay in that area. So make sure that area is super clean before it can move on to the next, which is really neat to watch. And there it turned off the mopping and now it's going somewhere. So now it is going to complete the mop washing, making sure they're clean to go to the next room. Now the normal Frio can automatically make its way around different items. So if it bumps into something, it will kind of work its way around. Now I found it best to move certain items out of the way so that it had a clear, clean path so it was much more efficient. All right, so here we are after one clean. You can see it did a really good job. There are some dirty spots that do need a little more cleaning to get rid of. But one thing I'm noticing is there's now way less dirt on the floor. And after a few cleanings, I know it's gonna be able to clean up all of this mess the kids have made. All right, now that we've done a few rooms, let's go ahead and check the dirty water level and look at that. You can see how much it has picked up off the floor. Let's go ahead and empty that and refill the clean water. So this is after about cleaning three pretty large rooms. So that's about almost all used up. Let's fill it back up. All right, so here we've cleaned this area, this area, but the hallway here has not been cleaned and you can definitely tell it is way more dirty. There's a lot more smudges all over the place. And even in this room we've cleaned, so you can see the difference there. So and that's just after one clean. So I can see how having this clean you know, once a day, one room, or, you know, throughout the week, it's really going to improve how clean our floors are. Now let's talk about different ways to clean. So here on the front page, you have the option to mop. You can then vacuum, then mop. You can use Frio mode where it uses AI dirt sense to automatically detect how dirty each room is to clean. You can vacuum and mop, and then you can just vacuum the whole home. Next, you have the option to create more plans. So if you wanna customize what room it's gonna to go to first and how many times it's going to vacuum a room, what strength, as well as how much it mops the room and how wet the mop is, you can do all of that right here. Then once you've created your plan, you can go through and create a schedule. With the schedule, you can set a reminder to have it alert you before the schedule starts. You can have it go out every day or just a couple times a week. And then you can program that schedule when to run. So a lot of options there. Next, you have the option to just clean a specific area. So the mop can only mop a certain amount of area, so you can't make this very big. But let's say under the table is very dirty, so you can simply choose that area to go clean. It's gonna go out, then it's gonna vacuum and mop and clean that area. Now you can also just go to the rooms tab and choose the rooms you want it to clean and then it will clean based on what you have selected here at the bottom and then you also can go to your schedule and add more schedules and turn on and off the schedules that you have created. And then you can also use the base station to simply choose what type of cleaning you want and start the cleaning right from there. When the workday is done, it will head back to the base station where it has auto dual hot air drying, which can dry the mop pads in half the time. Now you can also adjust the dry time by setting it to silent dry, power dry, or smart dry. This will help keep the mop pads dry and smelling fresh until the next cleaning. One really neat thing you can do is head into the settings and go into the map management. Here you can actually adjust rooms, split rooms, merge rooms, and even rename rooms. So all you have to do is tap the split icon down here, tap on the room you wanna split, and then you can kind of cut it in half. Now I like being able to do this because I wanna separate these so I can keep the kitchen area a little more clean than the living room because one of them gets more dirty than the other. Next, we have no-go zones. So if the normal Frio keeps getting stuck in a certain position, you can create a no-go vacuum and mopping area, or you could set specific areas where it's not going to vacuum or not going to mop. And last, you have floor. So you can set what type of floor it is so it knows how much water to use per that area.
Now for weekly maintenance, you will want to make sure that you are cleaning the dustbin and then you want to flip the narwhal frio over and clean up any hair or extra things that may have got stuck here. So I can easily pull this off and pull out the brush and remove any hair. Now at this point, I hadn't figured out that there's actually a little razor and cleaning kit right next to the dustbin. So that's kind of cool that that's right there. And then here we're going to put this back. We're going to make sure the little brushes are also clean. And then we're going to go ahead and clean the filter. And then I'm going to do a quick check to make sure everything else is working properly. See if I need to order any replacement parts. And now we are ready to clean the base station. So here you can pull out the bottom tray here. This is what cleans the mops. This actually gets a little bit dirty. So I'm going to just quickly clean this off. It only takes a little minute. First, I'm going to start with this scrubbing tray. And then here it has the bottom tray. Very easy to clean. Once that's complete, we're going to empty any dirty water that has been picked up, and then we're going to place the tray back in so it is ready for its next cleaning. Now you probably noticed how dirty those mop pads were. The Narwhal Frio has a set area in which it cleans before it then goes back to the base station to clean the pads. So let's go ahead, send this back, and see what that looks like. And after the wash, let's check them out. So there you can see they are much cleaner. They are now wet again and ready to clean the next room. Now you can slightly adjust the amount of area it can clean before it goes back to wash the pads. You can also set it where it washes the mop pads once it finishes cleaning a room. Now to keep tabs on when you need to replace filters as well as the mop pads, you can head into the Narwhal app and then here we can tap manage accessories. So here it's saying there's still 133 hours left of the filter, 132 hours left of the mop, the side brushes, roller brush. Um, here it talks about the cleaning solution. And then here, 10 hours left of the dustbin. So it keeps you up to date on what you need to do to make sure that the Narwhal Frio is running at its best. We have now been using the Narwhal Frio for a few weeks and we absolutely love having it around. It's been great to have it help clean up after the kids each and every day. Now, one of the ways I'm using this is every night, I'll do a quick cleanup around the home, making sure I pick up any bigger items that it may get stuck on. Then I'll double check to make sure that the dust bin is emptied and the water is filled, and then I'll let it do its thing. It then will vacuum and mop, and we wake up every day to a nice clean floor, something that would take us hours and a lot of energy to clean this floor because it's a little bigger than we actually thought it was going to be. Now, I love how it is able to quickly go around different parts of the home, and then you can even expand different rooms of the home throughout the use of it. So here I hadn't mapped out the pantry, and it knew that there was something else there, so I was able to quickly add another room, and I still have more rooms I could even expand it to. Now, one really cool thing is that you can actually add multiple maps in your home. So let's say you wanna take the Narwhal Frio upstairs. You could create a whole nother map for upstairs and teach it what to do up there. So then when you place it there, it's ready to go. And then you can bring it back down for charging. Now, one question I have is, can this get any better? Well, yes, it can. This is the J3 Intelligent Water Exchange device. So I'm able to hook this directly up to a water supply so it can then refill the water and empty the water without me having to do anything. Then I can just let it run and just do the simple cleanup every week or every month or whatever it be. So let's go ahead and get this installed, try it out. So with this, I'm able to put it inside the Narwhal charging station and then it's able to receive water to automatically cleanse the mops and then dispense of the dirty water. And here it comes with a control box and other pipes and fittings that you will need to get set up. Now typically you would attach this to a kitchen sink this is a half inch valve, but I'm gonna put this in the laundry room where we have three quarter inch valves. So I finally found after a few trips to the hardware store what I need. So I'm going to attach a Y here with this coupling to convert the three quarters to a half inch. Then I can attach this here and then the line for the narwhal. Let's get that done. So here the small line will be the clean water line. And here we have the dirty water that will feed from the big line out the drain. This we just insert, there you go, push it past the line. And here on the inside of the narwhal, it popped out these two little pieces there. And then you need to pull out the center piece here, as well as remove this plastic piece. 
Now before we do add the wider line, you need to insert this and you make sure it goes all the way to the back and then push it in like so. Now we can insert it into the back of the narwhal base and it will clip into place. And now we attach the tube to the water line and the tube to the drain. You can store the supplies if you need them later right inside. And here we're gonna take the power cord to the control box and plug it in the back of the base station and then plug that in. If you've already mapped out your floor with the narwhal and during this process you moved this base station to a new location, you will need to remap your floor. My drain just goes out the same drain line as the washing machine. And then there are all my fittings. So right here, this little piece was hand tightened. And so then I'll probably clamp this down and we're ready to turn on the water. Now it does come with this little thing you can use to kind of organize the cables a little bit. Uh, it was a little difficult to get on, so I'll try and do that later. So now it's time to get back to cleaning. The narwhal is now in drying mode. It has gone all night long and it has cleaned every room in the home and it just looks so nice. Gone are the days of waking up to a dirty floor. And just like that, all of the vacuuming and mopping has been done, worked all night to get it complete and we didn't have to do anything, which is really awesome. Now having that new auto water exchange is just game changing. Not having to go and empty and refill those every time it's gone out and mopped is really incredible. Now when you choose the Frio mode, it will automatically mop and vacuum at the same time. Start the Frio mode. And it will know the difference between carpet and hardwood floor. So here it can automatically pick up the mop pads and here it can rise them up 12 millimeters so you're not going to have any of the dirt tracked onto your rugs or carpet and then it can automatically place those back down when it is back on the hardwood floor. The same will happen in other areas in the home where the surface might be too rough. Now one of the coolest features is the AI Dirt Sense. This is an array of sensors as well as AI algorithms that help the Narwhal Frio know how clean each room is. This is really helpful because I have so many little different areas. When I set it to Frio mode, it can automatically determine if it needs to clean extra in certain rooms. It automatically mopped extra rooms because they were more dirty than the others. So when it's done cleaning with Frio mode, you'll know that your floor is completely clean. Now let's take a look at the edge swing cleaning. So this is something that you can turn on where it's doing this every day or it just does it every seven days. And this helps the Narwhal Frio get much better into the corner. So it does this really cool swing motion to make sure that every edge is perfectly clean. Now one thing I've learned is it's really hard to know exactly when to vacuum and mop just because each day could be completely different. So I like how there are so many different options to start mopping or vacuuming. You can head to the base station and use the touch screen to be able to start the mopping or vacuuming or the Frio mode where it can then do both at the same time. And then I like how I can use the app. So typically I will go through, clean up a little bit, then I'll head into the app and choose exactly what I want done. Maybe one room is a little dirtier than the rest. So I'm gonna go through and have it mop more times or I'm gonna have stronger suction on the carpet or whatever it may be. And then you also have the option to just create a schedule. Maybe every day you're leaving the house at nine in the morning. So you do your cleanup then, and then it will automatically go out, do the vacuuming and the mopping. And then when you get back home, everything is fresh and clean. And I really like how quiet the Narwhal Frio is. We let this go at night and it does its job mopping and everything. And everyone is able to sleep peacefully without anyone getting in the way or any interruptions, which is just really so nice to have on the vacuum and mop. And then some of my other features is the map, how it is able to keep track of everywhere it has been. And I can 
easily check in where it's going and then what room it's going to next. And it's so great that it can automatically adjust if we move a couch or something, it can then quickly realign and I don't have to worry about too much of the things. I do just have to do that daily pickup and everything works really well. Now, the one thing I'd like to see is the ability to add a new room to clean while it is mopping. So it'd be great if I could just simply say, okay, now that you're done with that, let's go ahead and mop this room because sometimes maybe the kids are gone a little extra longer and so I wanna go and clean a certain room more or something like that. So that would be my only recommendation. The Narwhal Frio has been so helpful in keeping us keep the home clean. I don't think our floors or our carpets have ever looked this great and we're able to keep up with the amount of mess the kids can make. So if you have any further questions about the Narwhal Frio, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to pick one up, I'll leave a link down in the description below and make sure you tell your friends to go on Google or Amazon and search for Narwhal Frio. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.